contract is all secure in the lab, sir. You know, seeing it got me to thinking about my special projects. Whoa, slow down, Stedman. What do you mean, projects? You doing some kind of research down here? Yeah, well, you know, not yet, sir. I still need some additional specimens to get things going. Once I get those, we can make some big improvements to our weapon systems and tactics. Well, I'm all for that. What do you need? All kinds of things. I've entered the details into our database. If you run into something on a mission that we need, you'll be notified automatically. Just try not to blow up the ship. Okay, Stedman? Alright, sorry about that. As soon as I actually went to the lab, it triggered a cutscene that would probably only be... Um... Uh, once a campaign. So I restarted just for that, and uh... Well, while Shadow finishes up his mission, we shall be taking a look at these things. First, we have our Protoss tank. Protoss Crystal sample recovered by Rainer's Raiders. 10.7.2504 point. I placed the crystal in a saline solution for storage. FYI, that's like salt water. Not pure salt water, but yeah. Its density has increased 553% in the last 12 hours. Where did it get the energy or raw materials for that? I have a terrible suspicion that it's connecting to the ship somehow. If Swan suspects, he'll drop it out of the airlock, and that would be a tragedy. Uh, yeah. This simple sample could lead to a huge breakthrough for the Raiders. I just have to be careful, and if there's any sign that it will harm the Hyperion, I'll destroy the crystal myself. The recovered Zerg sample is still growing. I introduced a protein solution. Might have been a mistake. At the cellular level, the sample shows strains of every known Zerg creature and many other strains that I don't recognize. It will take a while to map it all, but I've already begun extracting data from it once uh, from an ultralisk cell, and I found a spore crawler cell that yielded data on Instinctive Threat Recognition Routines. And that actually looks kind of cool on extreme quality. Artifact. Oh, Commander, Commander, Commander. I've been giving these artifacts some thought. Oh, don't worry. I know what you're going to say. I haven't been running diagnostics on them or anything. Well, not directly, at any rate. Just spit it out, son. Well, sir. When the second piece was added, the ambient containment field spiked drastically. Huh? I know. If we add any more pieces, we'll need to draw even more power from the ship's fusion core to maintain the field. So holding these things is dangerous and expensive. Hmm. Well, the sooner we get them off my ship... Strike yeah. tur turret or fortified bunker? Uh... Okay, what should I, I go for? Shrike turret. Outfits all bunkers with automated turrets. We have developed an automated turret that comes st uh, standard with all bunkers. This turret, which is based on our studies of spore powers, adds extra firepower to manned bunkers and allows unmanned bunkers to contribute to base defense. If you're using all your zergs, like on uh, zero hour mission, that would be kind of useful. Fortified bunkers. Bunkers gain 150 light. This improved bunker design, inspired by the Ultralisk exoskeleton, attaches to harden, a hardened carapace to the top of the bunker. This carapace dramatically increases the amount of punishment that a bunker can absorb. I personally would go for that uh, fortified bunker. You though, yeah. uh, I think uh, Shrike Turret might benefit you. So anyways, so. Because you're not the best at micro. Anyways, we shall go to the bridge, see what's new with that. Make sure that quickly Seven does say other things we now. We need more samples. Uh, yeah, okay. Have you seen my stapler? Little hint, it's red. Armory. Alright, bridge, handsome. I've heard a lot about you, Commander. The Dominion always portrayed you as a criminal, a terrorist. There's more to you than it seems. 
Well, with Dominion being what it is, someone's got to stand up for the little guy. Sure ain't gonna be Mengsk. Doesn't seem like the Emperor cares at all. My people from Agria and displaced populations from across the sector have all fled to a refugee staging area on Meinhof. There are reports of violence and disease spreading throughout the camps, but the Emperor's done nothing. I'll look into it, Doc. It sure felt good rescuing those folks. But there's millions more out there that need help, too. You can't be everywhere at once, sir. The important thing is that we set an example and gave them hope. Every time we help folks in need, it's another step on the road to a well, future. I'm going no. for combat shield and closer to bringing Minx down. Projectile accelerator. Your better future needs to hurry up and get here. Or there's going to be no one left to see. I think I'm going to let combat shield go for now. FYI, that upgrade gives the Marines. Quite literally, a shield. The shield increases the life on all Marines. Personally, I think it would be uh, better, or more logical, if the said upgrade also applies armor additionally. Just keep those colonists out of my armory. To the bridge! Uh, Star map. Now again, I do have a uh, new mercs, the fire bats, along with the marauder mercs, which I will not be getting because that's my personal preference. But the concussive shields I shall be getting for now, and the fire bats increased range or area of attack is surprisingly cheap. I'll be getting that too. Now we go back to the cantina. Check on Tychus. You meet Dr. Hansen yet? Sure did. I asked that sweet thing if she'd like to give me a physical. No harm in asking, right? I think she's got her eye on some pansy ass, though. Yeah? Who might that be? Oh, I don't know. Some white knight kind of guy came charging down to save a colony, maybe. Damn, Jimmy. You never could be the ladies. Redstone or Meinhof? I'm thinking Meinhof. Hi, Gray. I should have gone with the Farbat Mercs then. <laughs> It'd be useful. Okay, we seem to be having a Redstone, I find is fun. I took out the enemy I'm base. Told Max, a lot easier with that. Got direct. out of the way. Due to his announcement already in progress. My finest military minds are being brought to bear. Anyways, to announce that they'll soon be led by the hero of Torah. You know, I'm going to go General with Morris mainly Morris. on main half. Off fire bats. I thought he retired. Oh yeah. And There's such wonderful and creations. <laughs> You're gonna be doing Marine Firebat Medic. There you have it, viewers. With because that way I can command, actually tank through the night too. Will be defeated in no time. Up next, Rainer ups his campaign of terror just as the Zerg reappear. Coincidence? You decide after these messages. And for people who don't know my what my ha uh, half is, it's look planet. back. No, well, if you know what the mission is, the outbreak mission is, well, look back on our uh, left to die. Let's LP. Oh yes, yeah, that one. Except uh, this one is directly from the campaign. Refugee populations from the sector have been using Meinhof as a staging point, but with so many people, it's not as hard. An epidemic of some kind has started sweeping through the camps. But it's not Supplier, which is sad. We've yes. Got to do something before it's too late. Actually, the entire campaign is not Supplier, which is sad. That is one thing that is interesting about uh, Blizzard, because they have actually allowed us to play two-player and such on at least one mission. I have actually personally requested that they do that a lot more 
with Heart of the Swarm, or maybe their upcoming expansion, which was leaked, Legacy of the Void. Um, might change. True. But that's why I say it was leaked and it might be named Legacy of the Void. Anyways, uh, right there is the Hellion, the Bath Skirmisher, has a flame attack. In Heart of the Swarm, the default unit produced out of the factory is not the Hellion, but a Battle Hellion. Anyways, cutscene. So what are we looking at, Doc? Skip. The readings indicate some kind of nope. bio infestation spreading through the refugee camps. Even the buildings are being covered by it. I've seen this kind of thing before. It's a Zerg virus. All we can do is burn it out. Be aggressive during you daylight hours. You know I'm aggressive when I go Hellion. But where are all the people? Mm -hmm. oh, no. Thing is, you don't tank Those through the night. Things are infested refugees. This is a nightmare. Yeah, this ain't good at all. It looks like they burrow underground by day. Actually, I could if night. I just stayed put. The virus must make them vulnerable to the high UV output. Instead of running system. around everywhere. Then we'll hit the infested. Thing is, I'm still running around we'll everywhere as well. At night. Don't worry, Doc. We'll contain this thing. Now I think I've been playing that custom map too often because I forgot exactly where I'll be. Uh, chokes and such are. I know there's not at least one of them is blocked off by default. One of them is by destructible rocks, and I think maybe two more actually open paths. Anyways, right now, first day, right now there is actually no point in going through the night first to uh, stop the Pretty research. Much. No point, no point. All right, boys. We can't risk the contagion spreading to this camp. I want a perimeter set and some bunkers in place now. You going sweet on that doctor, Lady Jimmy. Can't see why else we keep fighting for these damn dirt farmers. What's going on? Ready. I think I probably should have gone bunker first before eBay. Eh. Matters a little. Hardly anything comes in the first night. Uh, you forget I'm on brutal. Oh, right. Been waiting on Need some triage? This better be good. So I've actually got my fire bats and greens uh, on hold position where there isn't bunkers. Base is under attack. Is it critical? You rang. Gangway, coming through. Got it. Base we could use some help here. Shut up. Additional supply 
kill me. Oh, I already have that. Man, my firebot bats are just tanking. Of course. But my other firebat isn't doing so good. Additional supply depots required. Not enough minerals. Not Upgrade. Hey, hotshot. I got schematics for the hellions you saw in Marsara. Should be good down there. <laughs> Factory can't Base land. Is under attack. Sun's coming up. We gotta hold on. Uh, when you get your Hellions, how many do you get? Four? Uh three. Really? I thought you got four. No, I got three. I did too. Rise and shine, boys. Now it's our time to do some damage. Add on complete. This better be good. By the number, boys. Is that some sort of nest? You better destroy it. Additional supply depots required. Add on complete. Uh, I'm in a heap of trouble. Ready to raise some hell. All day long. Additional supply. Oh, me. Uh, I'm in a heap of trouble. Like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. All right, so I've already got one sector clear. I'm still building up. I'm building up and attacking two places at the same time. I wonder how the heck they got inside my base. Oh, who did? The enemy! <laughs> they somehow got inside my base. Uh, is it the second night already? No. Still, it was still the first night. Oh. You probably had a hole somewhere. I believe. Marines? Oh hell, Jimmy, I don't care for that notion one bit. You should set some guards. They'll be coming again soon. Damn ready. Good job, guys. This area is secure. Scans are picking up a unique Zerg biosignature. It appears to be a burrowing creature that is underground during the day and emerges only at night. Sir, if you kill one of those creatures, Stedman can study it and perhaps learn something. I'm on it. Yeah, well, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, my Marines weren't being smart. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Base is under attack. No, Nightfall's in... Uh, Base is under attack. 15 seconds. Bad news. Ah, we 
Base is under attack. SCV ready. The doctor is in. Yeah, I think. Been waiting on you. Oh dear, they already broke down some of my barracks. This better be good. Or bunkers, SCV sorry. Ready. So not good. I'm gonna lose a second bunker. I need another SUV just for that. You go mine. Daybreak in thirty seconds. Oh dear. Looks like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. Been waiting on you. Not enough. Nightfall's coming soon again. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Yay. I'm already in night two. I'm going on to night three. This time I do not want to actually tank through the night. Your eyes peeled. There's gonna be more of them out there. Go ahead. Big jump. Ah. You want a piece of me, boy? Uh -huh. This better be good. Been waiting on you. Not enough minerals. Bad news. Move it. This better be good. Not enough minerals. Additional supply depots required. Go ahead. Not enough minerals. Additional supply depots required. If you're wondering, I have my units here because I think it's this night the units will have to be breaking down that barricade. Base is under attack. Base 
is under attack. Not enough minerals. Armed and ready. Base is under attack. You gonna give me orders? This better be good. Armed and ready. Don't know why the right side I'm getting so many mobs. I guess I shouldn't really call them mobs anymore now that it's StarCraft 2. Oh dear. Already? Seriously? Base is under attack. What is that thing? Was it human? Base is under attack. You gonna give me orders? They've broken through the south barricade. Get some troops down there now. You know, I think I saw this in a movie once. You guys still doing? Daybreak in 30 seconds. Base is under attack. Oh, hell yes. This is gonna be our time, all right. This better be good. You gonna give me orders? Go ahead. Well, butter my biscuit. Will do. In the rear with the gear. Yes, sir. Ah, you scare me. Roger. Oh, this is why I'm still getting some mobs over here. Blow to their numbers, Jim. You're doing great. in 30 seconds. Trouble. 
Our allies base? What? Oh, that's a scam. Alright. Let's go back. Base is under attack. Additional supply depots required. Our SCVs are under attack. Our SCVs now? No! The SCVs. Additional supply depots required. Okay, so this isn't going so good for me anymore. Base is under attack. We can use some help here. Base is under attack. Go, go, go. Sure Base is under attack. Base is under attack. Hell, it's about time. Now I can do some distraction. Yeah. Now you sounded like a robot. Yeah, I know. Not so much for me because uh, I lost a barracks in a tech lab and some supply depots. I meant, I meant you on Skype. I know. Surprise lag. Okay, let's find some. Hey. And of course, I need. I already have. Don't you just love thirty-five hellions? Holy crap! How did I lose so many supply depots? You aren't paying attention. Not enough minerals. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of extra time on this mission just to build up my forces and whatnot. Build my supply depots. Nightfall in 30 seconds. You gonna give me orders? And right now, yes, I know this is going to be kind of pointless to all sit back 
and I could be doing other things and whatnot. But I kind of need it. Where does it hurt? Need some triage? Oh, that's a I mean, when you lose just about everything, I'm surprised I didn't lose the entire map this time. Five places cleared in one night. How much more fun can this just get? Well, if you don't lose everything else, a lot. Base is under attack. Base is under attack. is under attack. And I will be going for those investors just as soon as I can rebuild everything. Base is under attack. How did they break Dang! That? My Helen's just steamrolled those ones that were attack- The undead that were attacking me. Oh dear. We both- we both said oh dear at the same time. That's funny. Which am I gonna use this time? my factory. So my medics are actually out of energy. Again, not us ready. I'm completely unprepared for this. At least it's not a continuous attack. Yes. I'd be dead by now, long by now. That'd be funny. Insane on uh on a higher di on the higher difficulty than uh brutal. First night. Stays night. 
infinite. An infinite darkness. Yes, I know you could use some help here. So, you know, I could use some more help. Max, why are you keep going to the front line? Seriously. Stupidest medics ever. Mineral field. Armed and ready. Base is under attack. Gangway. Mineral field depleted. We could use some help here. Go, go, go! What's going on? Ah! Armed and ready. Wait, what the heck? Did I just... I think it just killed a, uh... Infester while it was barrowed. I can't believe it. I actually did that. We could use some help here. Killing an infester while it was barreled. How amusing. Oh, not again. Base is under attack. Base is under attack. Base is under attack, yes, I know. is under attack. We could use some help here. Uh... Base is under attack. Nightfall. In 30 seconds. Base is under attack. I'm on night 6 right now. I'm losing more I'm on night close. 4. I'm on night 4. What are you doing, medics? You're going right into the front lines again. Oh well, I think I lost this. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh well. And night six was ending in four seconds. Oh well. So how are you doing? I'm on night five. Now. I have 52 Hellions. You know what? I'm just gonna restart this mission on casual difficulty. Why? It's pretty easy even on normal difficulty. Yes. And that is exactly why I am putting it on casual. Critical? 
Nightfall in 30 seconds. In the rear with the gear. Been waiting. SCB ready. So I've got a feeling that on casual difficulty, I've already got a longer time for the first day. SCB ready. Now we gotta hold out till sunrise. Brace yourselves. This could get ugly. Also, I should need five SCVs for one bunker. Well, I lost. <laughs> and that was on brutal. That was on hard. Oh. Uh, first time I lose. Oh, really? Actually, it is the first time I lost on that mission. On this mission, yes. No, no wonder I wasn't hard. <laughs> That's too normal. I'm already on casual. Why, well, you couldn't take it on normal? Well, I could, but, uh... You know, I'm just straight up doing casual. So you're just going to show them the story, not the, uh, fun. Just for this mission. <laughs> Sigh. Besides, they already saw me failing on Brutal. Is that... some sort of nest? Yep. destroy it. Yep, yep. Beginning. Oh, Where are my guys defending? Oops. And I might lose that bunker already. Mm -hmm. They're not darn dirt farmers. Well, actually they are, but... They're dead dirt farmers. Additional supply depot is required. Huh? Alright. You losing again? Nope. This place still supply depot. Chat. I got schematics to build them hellions you saw in Marsara. Should be good down there. Who wants some? Ooh, that sure pissed him off. Maybe we should wait for daylight. Infested marines? Oh, hell, Jimmy. As soon as I finish my final bunker, it gets... It turns night. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Sun's coming up. We gotta hold on a little longer. I don't care if it gets ugly. Where's my Hellions? So anyways, now that it is on casual, you can see how easy it is to just tank. Even if you were already still hiding in your base. And even the first night with just a handful of humans. I'm on normal, so it's not going to be a handful of units. More like a couple handfuls. Not just plain fun. Be in the rear with the gear. This better be good. Armed and ready. Big job, huh? Please. Eat me. Why did they just say that? What the heck? Oh, I'm missing a building. Looks like this area is secure. 
Keep it up, fellas. We can stop this. Good job, guys. This area is secure. Armed and ready. What's up? Orders received. SCB ready. Ready to raise some hell. I'm waiting. You want a piece of me, boy? Additional supply depots required. Peace is under attack. I don't. No, you don't. Uh, we could use some help here. Well, I guess you did because you're dead. Should be. Scans are picking up a unique. They'll be the best. It appears to be a burrowing creature that is underground during the day. The major zone at night. Oh great. Unless my bunkers go down. Creatures. Stedman can study and perhaps learn something. I'm not detecting any more infested structures in that sector, Jim. Seconds. You should set some guards. They'll be coming again soon. Okay. 
What is that thing? Was it human? I keep getting pings every two seconds now. Ah, uh, sigh. What, you're already ailing? No. I'm just thinking that people love you. Ah, <laughs> uh, that came out wrong somehow. Yes. More like fans, I should say. Alright, this sector is clear. Nice work, boys. You're a pop star! Room. Supply Isn't that great, Nuju? You're a pop star. Yeah. You're a star. Base is under attack. Oh no, my base is under attack. Now uh, what? What day are night are you on? I'm on night two. I have a feeling that it was a ridiculously long uh, day because it's on casual. But I've already cleared out like half the map. I'm not going to try and clear out the map yet. I feel like I'm getting pings from you. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind pinging you when I'm flying. I don't know, it just feels like that you're pinging me. Well, I didn't know you. No, it's just like two pings a second. Ping, 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 ping. Exactly. That was per second. Now if it started sounding like a song, you know you got hacked. Please state the nature of your medical base is under attack. Alright, this sector is clear. Nice work, boys. Now move on to the next area. Sure. Our engineering bay. Well, that was a long, bloodested long day. Took it three minutes to end. I had four and a half minutes, or like five minutes. I'm a normal. <laughs> and sure, on eat casual. Daybreak in thirty seconds. Anyone can be casual. Almost Just anyone. Just about. Almost anyone. Unless you were going, someone really new and going, What do I do? Don't forget, you have to be back by dark. Good job, guys. This area is secure. Gangway, coming through. Oh man, day two, I've got like eight minutes. You got it. I've only got one area left. Why not? Uh -huh. Yep. Easy. You're almost done. There's just a handful of infested bio signs left. I'll highlight their locations on your map. GG. This time. You did it, Jim. I <laughs> There's no GG in it. Now I've got to get my people. You just oh, yeah. steamrolled the enemy. There's GG. There's got to be somewhere out there. He still steamrolled them. So yep. And it was GG. Paradise waiting just for us. Actually, do I have GG? Yep. We got GG. No re. Mission time, 21 minutes. Alright, I think that's enough for now. We'll see you guys next time. Actually, Jeep. what do you mean?
You went casual. This is once. Still cheap. Yeah. Chirp, chirp, cheap, chirp. Before we go, let's see what this has to say. Thanks for joining us. Our own Kate Lockwell is reporting live from the refugee ship Skinner 2 in orbit around the planet Meinhof. Donnie, the death toll out here is soaring. Massive refugee fleets like this one are struggling to reach the safety of the core worlds. Many of them won't. They're short on food, water, Kate, and hope. we'll discuss how the Dominion will rescue those worlds when we get there. There's a lot of talk about rescue among the refugees, but they're pinning their hopes on paramilitary and rebel groups such as Raiders Raiders. Live from a refugee ship over Meinhof, where everyone eagerly awaits the Dominion's return. Up next, a Vermilion commentary. Refugees, are they really our responsibility? You're all heart, Donnie. Alright, now we'll see you guys next time.